Hello and welcome to Edit With These. I'm Andrea and today I'm going to talk to you about adding markers in Descript. Now, I don't know if you know about markers, but I just recently found out about these markers and I wish I really had known about them earlier. But they're phrases that you can put into your document to separate each section out. Now, you might want to use them for your own benefit. And when you have a long document, it really can be confusing if you don't have any headers or anything to, to figure out what is what. Another good way to use them is if you're working with a team. Maybe a certain person is working on a certain part of the audio and, you know, someone else is doing something with another part. Well, you can put in the markers for that. I am going to go ahead and show you how to do this. All right, well, there are several ways to make the markers. And the first way I will show you is just really simply going to the beginning of this scene mark here, this little slash. So as long as you're ahead of it, go ahead and press M. And see, the marker shows up. I'm just going to type it in as intro. All right. And then another way that you can do this is you can go anywhere in your script. I'm just going to click here and just press M see and for this part of the audio let me go ahead and play it and see what I can call this one there's even a special place just for kids where they can drive their own mini jeep and climb a big wall it's like a car wonderland so if you love cars you gotta check out the Detroit Auto Show all right well I can call this one a place for kids so that's what I'm going to do all right, so that's the second way, and there's another way that you can do it, and this way you just leave a blank line in between and go over here to the dots and click Add Marker. And so for this part, let's read this part. Then you can go on an adventure in a Jeep or a big Ram truck, like driving through rough terrain. And guess what? We will just call this riding in a truck. Wasn't that easy? You know, I want to show you just really quickly that when you use these markers and you're playing back your video or your audio, you won't hear any of these headings. So let me just show you an example here. And you see how it just goes right from and learn how it works all the way to then. And it, there's nothing that is pausing it or anything. So this is really a nice feature to use. I hope that you found this valuable. And if you have, and maybe you might know someone who may find this feature of value, go ahead and share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.